Ready to go now, are we? Yeah. Nice one. Welcome to uh, another edition of 20 Schemes Uncut. Sort of. We're sort of here to talk about equip and stuff. But let me ask you a really important question first. <laughs> is it about my hairline? Well, it is. But it's a serious <laughs> question for many of the follically challenged men who watch this. And they want to know, is it unbiblical for a man to have a hair graft? I just wondered what you thought about that. <laughs> I hope you're not insinuating I'm getting one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, do you think it's biblical that bald men should go and, you know, have a bit of a uh, hair grafted back on? I think they should uh, do it if they feel their heart is leading towards it. Wow. <laughs> and the Lord will give you the desires of your heart. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> and that's why he's not in charge of stuff. <laughs> You've never thought about a hair graft? Never have I ever thought of it. But you're thinking one. about one now, though, aren't you? No, because I've seen Wayne Rooney. Now that is true. <laughs> and he still looks ugly. So do you think... And it's, it's all fallen out now. He has to pay for it again. Do you think that you're just going to go bald gracefully then? I'm just going to shave my head like I have done. It's all But that all is gone. pretty bad, isn't it? One and two. You're scaring me, uh, Andrew. Look, he's like, that's, that's a picture of your future. Have you there, seen Andrew? his hairline? His is no, not. No. <laughs> he's yeah. 19 and look yeah. at it. I'm 35. <laughs> we'll get a picture of that later and put it on. Anyway, there. have you been watching I'm a Celebrity? No. It's on too late for us. What, six o'clock at night? That's like nine o'clock and we're like in bed at half nine. And Vernon then. Kay is on it. I'm absolutely exhausted. Vernon Kay, he's got a lovely lock. He's got a lovely set of... Uh, I, watched the f I watched the first couple and it was funny, but... The guy's got hair, by the way. I'll watch it again. He's the same age as me. Just is he 50, is he? <laughs> I'm 48 tomorrow, everyone. <laughs> and I've still got my hair under this. Only reason I wear this hat, people say to me, why do you wear a hat all the time? I'm like, because... I work my co-pastor and I feel very sensitive about his <laughs> boldness. And so out of respect for him, Thank you. I wear the hat just to Thank you. keep it covered. Right, let's talk some serious stuff then. Um, you wrote, um, was it a three or four piece blog set, blog piece recently? Was it, it was on forgiveness, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talk to us about that because um, that's a big topic right now for lots of reasons. Um, we had more than a few discussions around child abuse and mm -hmm. you forgive your abuser and stuff. Mm -hmm. So to mm -hmm. just give us the gist of the mm -hmm. piece. Mm -hmm. and by the way, um, I'm sure Peter or someone will put on the screen 20schemes.com and a, a link to the, to the, to the articles that yeah. we're talking about. But and we did a short, we did a short podcast on this with Ian and that's right. Graham from, um, from down in England. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty straightforward in one way. It's just looking at, um, do, I have to forgive my abuser. Oh, I've been abused at some point in my life. Do I, um, as a Christian now, have to forgive those who've abused me? And um, yeah, it takes five blogs to, to answer it. Cause it's not the answer a, is what? Because it's not a simple answer. It's simple and yet complex. Here's the problem. <laughs> Here's what's happened to Andy, by the way, just in case. He started doing a master's. And that's the sort of crap that <laughs> I've done one, I know. That's the sort of crap you come out with. You can't ever say yes anymore. You've got to go, yes, but here's 40,000 words on top <laughs> getting there. So your answer is yes. You had this question, didn't you, at the weekend as well? I did, but I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote the piece, baby. So uh, my answer over five blogs, so read it all, because obviously it's nuanced. Is that and that's another word that people do in masters like <laughs> nuance. <laughs> another it word for sell out, but done. <laughs> is that uh, we have an obligation to forgive our abusers um, if they are repentant. But here's the but um, that doesn't mean we can hold on to our bitterness and keep on thoughts sort of of revenge against those who've hurt us. So that seems pretty straightforward. Why does it take five blogs to write that? <laughs> because we delve into what God's forgiveness looks like with us. Uh, we look at what then forgiveness means between us as humans. And then we look at the difference between God's forgiveness and our forgiveness. Uh, God's forgiveness being immediate and full uh, if we're in Christ, whereas the forgiveness that we offer is often feeble, slow, doesn't happen overnight. And all seriousness, mm -hmm. thinking of doing a book off the back of that, aren't we? A small book for the... Yeah, just to go alongside this. Obviously, you've written a book on um, I mean your testimony and your childhood. And it's a book to go alongside that, thinking through, OK, I've been abused. So what you're telling me is, I've written a book on child abuse yeah. and the gospel. 
but you're going to write one just to correct me. Is that what you're telling me? No, it's a, it's a workbook to go alongside. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's talk about Equip, because that's what we're here to talk about. Mm -hmm. let's, um, let's discuss, where should we start? Maybe unemployment. I was looking at some of the figures recently for unemployment in the schemes, and I was quite surprised at how low they are. Mm -hmm. I think unemp I don't know if there's figures somewhere. I'm, I'm sure they'll be put up on the screen somewhere. But um, in Italy, it's about 25 percent. Yeah, yeah, that when was it. When I came here 13 years ago, unemployment was about 59 percent. So that seems like a big mm -hmm. change. And then I was trying to think through how has that how has that happened, and suddenly it dawned on me actually probably because of all the new buildings and all the professional people that, have, mm -hmm. you know, that are buying them, actually, it's probably changed the whole demographic figures of a lot of things, hasn't mm -hmm. it? But there's still a core, mm -hmm. hard core uh, of people who have been unemployed, mm -hmm. not just for one generation, but multiple generations, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Well, as we know as well, there are a lot of grafters as well uh, in Italy. We've got a benefits class, we've got a lot of guys that do, yeah. that do work hard as well um, with the scheme. I think that... The figures, I, can't, I don't know what the figures were, pre-lockdown to post-lockdown, I think they're the people that have been hit the most during lockdown because if your benefits hasn't changed exactly. since um, the pandemic, you just get your benefits as usual. Whereas if, you've, if you were reliant on a job or two jobs yeah. um, and it's gone down the pan, then you're no, really struggling. And that's where we're, we're struggling now, isn't it? I was listening to a debate media too about people saying, oh, it's been great for the workforce, people can work at home and you know it's brilliant. And I'm sitting there thinking, but most of the guys that we know who work in factories, earning very little money, slogging their guts out, aren't allowed to go to work. They can't work from home. Mm -hmm. They're just unemployed. Mm -hmm. And so even the pandemic has hit the most sort of socioeconomically, um, those who are at most disadvantaged economically. So it is a big problem. I think it's going to be a rising problem. So we've, we, we've come up with Equip. Do you want to explain Equip shortly? Mm -hmm. right. Is it retrain? <laughs> What's Equip? Equip's our website. <laughs> See, this is what I know what I'm doing here. So uh, don't edit this out. Keep it in because people can see how thick I really am. Uh, we've got 20 Schemes, everything. 20 schemes, we're taking over the world. 20 Schemes Publishing, 20 Schemes Music, 20 Schemes Planting the Churches, 20 Schemes Equip is our website for all our articles all resources and, and stuff. resources. And now 20 Schemes Retrain, mm -hmm. which in its infancy, I've had this going back how long? It was, I, initially, I called it Back to Work, right? Mm -hmm. This is We've been thinking about this for a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we've had a few, a couple of false dawns, shall we say. Um, loan money to a couple of people to start businesses didn't, didn't really work out. So we sort of scrapped the idea and uh, came up with um, retrain, didn't mm -hmm. we? So we're going to sort mm -hmm. of tell people in a... Yeah, yeah. It's Pretty straightforward. What the vision is, it's uh, basically to to um, offer avenues for for our guys in the schemes to um, be able to get some sort of employment. Um, so that's going to happen through a couple of ways. One, setting up some of our own businesses, yeah. um, like cafes, um, but also supporting those who want to set up their own businesses. Yeah. Um, as well, maybe offering them grants as well as discipling them how to be Christian yeah. and live a life that's honoring, honoring to the Lord. Um, and so we're very good at the moment at training people for ministry. Um, we give everyone that comes through our doors the biblical underpinning they need and foundation. Um, yeah. But uh, we're struggling or battling with what happens when someone isn't going to be a pastor or women's worker or gospel worker long term uh, yeah. as their full time status. Uh, in the in the local church, and they need to go back and get some some sort of work long term. Yeah, and because that's the problem we've got, isn't it? We're almost too successful in a way. And what I mean by that is, we're seeing people saved. We're pretty good at discipling them in terms of teaching them a Bible and giving them a structure for life. But um, a lot of our guys, I mean, a lot of our guys, I would say, probably get saved twenties to thirties. Mm -hmm. Would that be about right age mm -hmm. range we're in? And a lot of them have never finished high school, not the greatest of readers. Not that they can't read. Very few of them are illiterate. There are some, but, but they just struggle to read. Um, 
haven't really have held if they've held down jobs it's been a, a succession of uh sort of low paid low skill jobs that they sort of in and out in and out in and out zero contract hours for guys and so obviously what we want to try to do is say look how can we as part of our discipleship process start up small businesses that are low capital outlay like removals like cleaning etc mm-hmm. um painting decorating all that sort of stuff uh, have a relatively low um skill set requirement but um can people can earn some you know money enough money to live on to get them off benefits and so uh, yeah we, so we've got a few irons in the fire we, we are in the process of buying a cafe mm. i'm just trying to finalize that now in in uh, over in Trinent. we've got a few of the um irons in the fire we've been really helped by um i can't remember they're called the fire i don't know what they're called it's called it's called fireish it's mm. a, a christian sort of trust uh, a guy called callum who's helped us pay for our, our legal fees actually to help s- set up the uh, the entity if you like it'll still be part of 20 schemes etc but uh, just to make sure we've got all our legal bases covered um, they've been really really good on that and um, also got some money startup capital hopefully more startup capital will come in to start moving on this in the new year as you can imagine everything's just slowed down this year we were ready to go in in march but then mm-hmm. this all happened mm-hmm. And so, yeah, so just watch out over the next few years for uh, various um, business initiatives. And again, it's another way for us also to try and uh, raise funds. Mm -hmm. Because obviously, every every time we're raising funds, the aim is to fund church planting ministry. Mm -hmm. And so a percentage of the profits will go back into um, helping pay for church planters, women's workers, gospel workers. And we've got the, well the Christmas as Challenge as Fund as well. Yeah. That we're running to up to Christmas. So. Yeah. So the Christmas Challenge is um, it's running now, is it? Yeah. So tell, tell me about the Christmas Challenge. We do it every year. Um, um, I think it particularly works in America because they've um, got their taxes coming up, so they want to give away some of their dollar. Um, and so we do it at the end of the year towards Christmas. Um, we have a spe- specific project. Um, that we're focusing on this year, it's retrain. Yeah, yeah, so we yeah. wanna get it up and running, get a good foundation to it and uh, and get it kick started. So um, Are we yeah. doing the match match funding again? Because usually yeah. we do mm-hmm. every pound or dollar given, we match mm-hmm. a pound or dollar. We've got a, a guy a guy who does that. So yeah. so that will go into our capital outlay fund. Um I I don't we've not finalised the complete structure of it yet. Um, I don't favour the let's just give money away to people to start a business. I favour let's either um, we start a business and s- we employ people to work for us or uh, we do a partnership with someone who wants a business but they pay back the capital outlay. So, mm. but, but again, we're, bi- we're, we're, we're getting a lot of help um, w- with developing the models um, by a lot of guys, you know, the Firish particularly are connected to extremely successful businessmen. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, we're just making sure we get we get a good foundation. So please give to um, our uh, Christmas challenge, whatever we're calling it. What are we calling it again? Christmas challenge. Uh, get a name right. It's for retrain. It's not for equip. <laughs> um, and I mean, and in all seriousness, I mean, it is our conviction. It's biblical that you know, people should work. Because when they come to crap, people are so used to, particularly a lot of our guys to. Take in what you can, get the dough, do whatever you can, but uh, work cash in hand. But mm-hmm. you know, our conviction is a man won't <coughs> a man, a man won't work, he won't eat. It's, what, it's, it's a biblical principle, um, which sadly doesn't seem to work in the social state. But mm-hmm. um, we want to get people self-respect as well and get back into the workplace. Let's let's instead of taking off society in Christ, let's actually make a contribution to society. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. we've seen quite a few people we've got back into the workplace. We've um, Sent people who, who are getting degrees and mm-hmm. trained them up. Yeah, became professionally qualified. Uh, one of the one of the ideas actually I was thinking about was a lot, all the, a lot of this equipment we've got in here, like the cameras and stuff like that. We can actually use that better, I think. Um, I was thinking about doing some sort of photography mm-hmm. business where we can actually train maybe a couple of guys from the community, send them off to um, college or uni or something, and do some sort of 
mm -hmm. training and, and they'll have the, the, they'll have access to, to to the kit here they need to buy more kit but so we've got <laughs> some ideas they're coming out um we're all over it it's our 20 schemes plan to just basically take over the world world domination is what we're going for right but i'm encouraged honestly i'm encouraged i think um we've been battling away at this for nearly 10 years i think mm -hmm. and uh it's not really come together for us but things have now started to come together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anything yeah. else you want me to say i mean i'm not going to show any pictures of starving children or something please give generously or anything like that they haven't got any no just his <laughs> kids they're starving <laughs> all right good i'm done <laughs>